are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the video is helping you and your designing process. If they are, please go ahead and hit that subscription button. Tap on that notification bell for further uploads. Uh, leave me a comment. Really appreciate that. It helped me out. And then also uh, drop a like. And then if you'd like to donate some coffee to the cause, you can uh, look around this area here. There's a super thanks button. You can tap on that and donate some coffee to the cause. Uh, today, what we're going to do is something very simple. It should be a very quick video. Uh, we're just going to import some uh, uh, lettering uh, text, right? Text lettering. So a text on curve and our solids in our uh, text, right? Uh, so we can uh, add different kinds of text in there, right? Uh, so maybe there's a customer who wants a specific text uh, or if they want to help in picking out the text uh, with your salesperson or yourself you can uh, go through the text and find ones that they like uh, to be able to make their pendant earring bracelet uh, anything that initial ring whatever uh, but if you open up this site uh, www.1001fonts.com uh, you'll see that uh, there's just a ton of options here now you can do this uh, type of font uh, maybe do the lettering and then draw this out but it will come out okay uh, uh, but bullion sometimes can be a little di uh, difficult uh, in some of that stuff but it'll it'll work uh there, there just might be some minor things that you'll have to do i'm not going to go into all that if you want to see a video on something like this or this or whatever uh even this uh, let me know and in, in the comments below and i'll see if i can put up something at a later date this is really basically how to import different styles of fonts that we don't already have okay uh but this one here uh there's tons of fonts in here and if you go to font categories uh you can see that it is uh overloaded even with foreign characters uh or foreign uh letters and stuff like that in there i'm just going to do something very quickly uh hopefully <laughs> let's do an antique uh so we have let's click this off for a second uh so we'll just do this uh, rooster right here okay we're going to import that the first thing we want to well maybe we're going to import it uh it says for personal use the red is for personal use so if you're going to be selling anything with this font you'll have to purchase the font itself unless you want to break the law and there's a lot of people out there that like to do that but uh, don't okay uh, uh just if you want to find the ones that are for commercial use they will be in green now these you can use and uh for commercial purposes to make money uh on it and sell it and not have to to actually purchase it and if you click on this button you'll get nothing but the commercial uh items out there right uh let, let's try this old gate just for sec uh for sake of argument but let's uh, take a look first to make sure we do not have it already loaded into matrix right so let's click on here uh and then we'll just go to our menu here scroll down to o's uh this o uh, elemental, elemental, s, l m n o, l m n o, uh, no, no, o p, old London. I, oh, I actually loaded that one in and this one in earlier. Uh, so the old, uh, old gate is not in here. Okay, so we're gonna, we'll go ahead and import that for this uh, video. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and as you can see it's got a little circular line maybe that's not the best to do uh, but let's go ahead and try it okay so let's go ahead and download it all right so it won't take very long to download and then we're going to uh, open it up all right and then you have two different types here open uh, type fonts uh, font that uh it will work in some cases uh true type font that will work in some cases it just really depends i usually go with the true uh, type font first uh and then uh if it uh if there's problems with it i will go back to the open type and try it but one of them will work just uh you know i don't know which one and uh, but we'll just go ahead and say this true type font 
uh, this is what I normally choose. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open it and it'll open it up, giving you different looks as far as different sizes and what it's going to look like. And then we're just going to go here and uh, click install. And it shouldn't take too long to install. And if it does install, go back to the other one. If it didn't install, just try this one and see if it'll install. One of them will. It should. No problem. Okay. Uh, so we have it uh, in installed now we need to check it so let's drag this over here for a second uh, and let's come down to our search and we'll just type in fonts right so we can kind of see make sure it's uh, in there right and we'll go here to this search this is all your fonts that are in there you can scroll down there or you can just type in your search uh, old uh, and old gate, right? That's what we just loaded in there, old gate. So we have it loaded. If you go to the, your little three dots there, you can see it says hide or uninstall. So if you want to get rid of it at any time, you can get rid of it, right? So let's go ahead and close that out. All right. Uh, so now that we have it installed, the next thing we need to do is we're going to have to, uh, if we go to our uh, text and we try to find it right away. Uh, scroll down there. Uh, L M N O, L M N O P O O gate. It's not in there, right? Uh, because we'll need to refresh or reload matrix gold. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to pause the video here, and we'll come back and uh, take a look at it once it's reloaded. Okay, I uh, refreshed it, uh, I uh, closed it, and then reopened it, right? And I, I put a ring out here. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do a little demonstration. So uh, just for this, uh, we're just going to go to our line. We're going to change it to red. I have my end snaps on right here, and I have my quad snaps on. Uh, so I am going to line, snap it to that line that end quad right there and then this one over here right and now i'm going to go ahead and select that curve and we'll go to our uh tools and we'll go to the is it tools yeah it's tools uh text on curve right here uh and it r lays out matrix gold right so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to go ahead and uh change we're just going to do initial right so we'll just type in a and then we'll come over here uh and we'll switch to a that old gate right so we'll scroll down here to the o's element o uh element old old gate right here right so now we have it loaded and old gate and we can uh, start to play around and adjust however we want uh and then but the nice thing about doing it this way uh is once we get it, the letter we want we can go ahead and take this and change it to a cutter of course uh, and we can go to our solids go to boolean difference we'll select this right click this right click uh, and it gives us our cutout right uh, it gives us our A, which is pretty cool, right? But if we want to change it, uh, all we have to do uh, is go back to our text on curve, go to edit, go to B. Uh, now we want a B on here, not an A. So uh, shift B, uh, and then we'll click on here, and it will lay it out there. Uh, and you can see that the A is still there a little bit, uh, but if I right click, uh, I get the A, which would close out that uh, item, right? So let's go back, uh, and I have the B there, old gate right there. Uh, now you can still see the A, so what we're going to do is we're going to tap that down a little bit, bring it down a little font size and then we're going to just take it back to the 8.5 which where it was or something like that uh, and then i'm just going to hit enter here uh right and it's if i hide this or accept it now i have my b out there i didn't have to make the entire ring or add the lettering i can just go back uh type in uh shift c and then click on my uh, old gate and then again what we'll need to do is just bump it down there's always maybe something that we'll have to do we'll right click and now i have a c so you can see we can go through there and change that uh uh 
initials very quickly for initial rings and it you can actually have the customer sit down with the salesperson or yourself and go through there and kind of pick out what kind of text that they are kind of wanting right uh so you can go through and change things up and they can actually play a part in the type of text and stuff like that uh, which is really cool you know that there's a magic school uh but there's a lot in there you can go ahead and try it out sometimes that it might give you a little fit uh, you know, you just kind of have to suss out why is it uh, doing that. And every once in a while, depending on what you load in, uh, you know, you get this that little uh, issue. Let's do an M. Uh, you know, it's not giving us the M. We'll go ahead and click here. It gives us the M, but we still have the C, you know. So, uh, you know, what's causing it? Just play around with it uh, but usually you can figure it out and uh, it's uh, it'll work fine for you but that's how you go ahead and put all kinds of uh, different kinds of text uh, to use in your award rings uh, uh, initial pendants bracelets earrings anything you want it's really pretty cool uh, and again you can always just go and if you want uh, text by itself you could go in there and grab that old english again uh we'll do that if i can find it L M M N oh, old gate right here old gate we have it here just use the curves not the solid or you could use the solid you know just by itself and then place it out there and then do more design work with it out there uh really pretty cool so there's endless options right uh so hopefully that helps please subscribe leave a comment please leave a comment uh and uh, good designing thanks for watching and all the support